Let me introduce our speakers. They have a profound respect for our Oregon values of independence, hard work, and love of respect for the land and the beauty of our forest. I'm so happy tonight, I can hardly stand it. I'm not just standing up here as a mill owner and a timber owner, I'm standing up here as an Oregonian who is deeply concerned. We love our forests. We believe in forest health and we support our politicians and our state to move in that direction and rectify the wrong that's been done. We should be harvesting our forests. We should be getting rid of fire danger. We should be utilizing our natural resource and keeping it healthy. When it comes to Oregon and it comes to timber and a renewable resource, we know what we do here and we know that we do it right and we do it well. We're protecting old growth. I love old growth. Four and a half million acres of old growth are in reserve and set asides untouchable in the state of Oregon right now. Do you know that four and a half million acres is over 7,000 square miles? So I'm going to give you a mental picture because you're, you're going to forget this statistic when you walk out of here. You're just going to go, she wore a lot of red. That's all I remember. <laughs> You could start in Eugene, Oregon, in the Willamette Valley. You could drive 100 miles north towards Portland, turn east, drive clear over the top of the Cascades towards the Dalles, turn south, drive 100 miles back towards Sisters, Oregon, turn west again and go back to Eugene, and you would have circumscribed 7,000 square miles. That's how much old growth we have in this state right now. I know absolutely there's people all over this state that consider themselves environmentalists. I do. My sisters do. What they believe in and what they feel is in their DNA the same way it's in mine. Healthy forests are younger forests. They're in many stages of growth. The younger trees are giving off more oxygen. They're grabbing more carbon. There's less disease. They're more fire resistant. I don't like to see clear cuts, I never have, but you've just opened up the soil and the earth after 40, 60, 80 years of darkness. And here comes the grasses and the grass seeds, and then the little animals, the mice, the snakes, and then berry plants start coming up in three years. You've got bears coming in and cougar and foxes. What I see is 100 years down the road, 150 years down the road, and I see healthy forests growing. All I can tell you right now is you can rest assured that anything that is happening in the woods today, the greatest of care is taken with your water, with your land, with your trees, and everything that concerns them. What Becky and Jody and I wanted to do, what our goal was, is to stand up and put a face on a faceless industry, to reach out to Oregonians, to reach out to women, because maybe it's going to take women and a little bit softer of an approach to let Oregonians begin to believe in the fact that taking care of this state the way we've been taking care of it for a long, long time is right and good. Oregon is diversified. We're healthy. And I think there's a paradigm shift because people are beginning to know this. They're beginning to believe this. Start speaking. Stand up. Thank you very much.